professional and let you guys know the major difference, the major difference between the East Coast and, and the South was that we stepped up our game in distribution. That's how we real big on independence. We started taking, we, what we did is we started uh, distributing product ourselves. We got clever. We started getting to the mom and pops. We started hitting the road, making those circuits, getting our artists out there doing shows. Okay, we, we were running the circuit and we started that distribution. Us Texas boys, the Southern boys started getting smart. New York didn't have that distribution like that. They were burning way before burning was in style. They, would, they couldn't get distribution, the distribution that we got. So once we figured out the distribution game, and then we figured out how to slow and chop it, oh my God, we could get double paid. That's when we started running circles around. So then they would come down, they had to cross over and get down into the Southern market because we had distribution in place. We had the outlets for people to go into the stores and retail and buy it from these mom and pops. Right. Our independent artists started getting run. That's the real deal. But New Yorkers, they wouldn't buy for themselves. And the reason that you guys do it big in Houston because you guys got people selling 300,000 records in Houston alone. Yeah, exactly. And won't sign a major deal. When we went to sign Slip the On foot. They sat outside the house for like six days. <laughs> six days. He came and went and would not talk to the people. And me and Gotti from Boy Gotti on Cash Money, we actually came down and he talked and he inked the deal. And when he inked the deal, he didn't sell as many records as when he was independent. So that's why he released himself from the deal and he went back independent. Well, I'm just add to that. I was basically going to say the same thing. You know, basically for the beginning of the time, most of the record labels were 